you don't have to do it this extreme dramatic way where you sell all your stuff and move into a camper van. It can just be a weekend adventure and it can be in your car. It's really more about the mentality of exploring and wandering and trying to be more in the present moment. It's not all or nothing and it's not as intimidating as you think. My first job, my first legal job out of law school, it was remote and it was part-time because I couldn't find a traditional big firm job. And then they gave me the offer to move to Toronto, make way more money, work in the office and be full-time. So that was really the first moment that I made the decision to focus on freedom of time and space versus traditional success. Once I realized that you could have a van that you could stand in that would have a kitchen and have everything you need, I just immediately became obsessed and I got a van within 48 hours. Once I finally hit the road, I felt so relieved because before you start doing something you think of all of the things that could happen you know all of the the fears of like the big picture but once you actually just start doing it you don't have to think about the next month or even the next week you just have to think about this moment and today i think the easiest part of being on the road is finding things to do because there i mean when you're driving with a destination in mind you miss so much and just all of these things just go right by you and you don't see them but when you're wandering everything is interesting and everything is an opportunity The biggest challenge of being on the road is decision fatigue. We all only have a certain amount of decisions that we can make every day before our brains just become exhausted. And so I think it's really, it can be very exhausting to always have to think of finding a new place to be. I've never thought of myself as a female anything. <laughs> like, I'm just the person that I am, you know? I don't wanna be a female lawyer. I don't wanna be a female writer. I just want to be a person that's respected and known for who I am. But on the other side of it, I'm realizing that it actually helps me connect with people that are looking for me. Like they're looking for solo female travelers because they want to be that and they're trying to see people doing it. have to do it this extreme dramatic way where you sell all your stuff and move into a camper van. It can just be a weekend adventure and it can be in your car. It's really more about the mentality of exploring and wandering and trying to be more in the present moment. Rent a van and see what you think about it.